Today's day 18 of recovery, and I always say recovery from what? I don't know. Figured I'd come outside and try to burn something. Did you ever feel like burning something? In any way, burning something? Some days are like that. I don't know. Just had a couple short conversations, real quick, and text with a friend that. brought up the fact of, you know, of setting boundaries and stuff because when you don't send boundaries, you invite shame and anger and all kinds of things. And when he said that to me, you know, I really started to think about it. Wow. You know, I'm inviting shame. I'm inviting anger. So I don't know what it is with me, but when people can put it to simple terms, I really start to understand it I start to understand more how important it is to to have those boundaries and everything because many of times I've I've just okay 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 no problem no problem and later on I'm not happy I'm not saying that my happiness is <laughs> meaning anything but how could you say there's been many times though that I've just okay 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 and I've I've, I've ruined it because eventually it comes to the point where I'll just quit or you know I I'll, I'll walk away because I, I guess that you know I like to give people the benefit of the doubt like I don't think they'll push and push and push and take everything they can get from you. I just, I'll do, do, do and let it go. And next thing you know, I mean, you're, you're into something that you, you're shocked over. Like, how did I ever let this happen? And I, I get mad at myself for allowing these things to go as far as they do. And um, there's a lot of great videos on YouTube about setting boundaries and things and um i'm gonna go check in and watch them more because it just seems like every time i keep taking and taking and then what happens is i end up um running away walking away i end up wrecking it for myself in the meantime but um i consider myself one of those people who are, are nice and I didn't think there was anything wrong with that, but there kind of is. So if we don't set up boundaries and we don't stop things before they get out of hand, then I guess that's where we end up. But I hope I'm not one of those people who just take and take and take. I know that we've been in a situation here for a long time and I have taken the help from people, but I do wish that they would know that I've, I've given a lot of help myself and not saying I'm entitled or I should get it back. It's just saying that I've, I've done a lot of things and um, I guess I'm helping myself remember that. But anyway, it's day 18 of recovery, and I'm still in standstill with everything with Social Security and Medicaid, and I don't like being in that position. I've asked all the questions I could ask. I've tried everything I could try, and I'm just sitting here, and I'm out of answers. So I, I guess I did what I, I did. I, I took the step in the direction to go start solving the problems with the Social Security and Medicaid, and then I'll, I'll let God do the rest. I mean, unless there's something, you know, I need to do in the meantime, but I think that's what they mean in the Bible, and they, you know, keep moving forward, so then God can help you too, so that's what I'm trying. I hope he can help me get out of some other issues I'm in with my personal self, <laughs> some things that aren't so good. That's day 18 of recovery.
and um, we'll see what day 19 brings. Thanks for watching. Stay beautiful. And remember, I love you. I love people. Don't ever feel like you're not loved. There's someone who loves you, especially God, Jesus Christ. He died for our sins. He paid the price. That's what we have to uh, count on. It's a lonely day, but but it's a good day if you want to say. So hope you all enjoy yourselves and I appreciate you watching and have a great day.